Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and I'm here today with an eCraft Shop Pro uh, video for you. Um, and I wanted to show you, if you saw my uh, blog post from September 19th, 2011, I did a masked background uh, and I created that background in the eCraft Shop Pro software. So I'm going to show you real quick how I created that background because it's really quite easy to do. It's just a matter of getting used to a couple of commands here. So the first thing that I did was I used um, a shape from Fundamentals 1 SD card. And it was actually this shape right here. And I brought it in on my mat. And now I start copying and pasting it. And you'll see that when you copy and paste it, it goes directly below the one before it. So I'm just going to do a row of three there. So now that I, let's say I have my whole row filled up, but just for the sake of the video here, I'm just going to do three so it's easier to see. Once I've got that all lined up perfectly and everything, all you need to do is click on your select button here and draw a box around all three of them. And you'll see that all of your handles appear on all three of those boxes. Now, if you saw my last video, you know that Path Union actually welds things together. But the thing about Path Union is it joins things together as well. So when I click on that, I now have one set of handlebars for all three of these images. And if I go to move them, they all move at the same time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and paste that group of three. And you'll see here if I bring this up that I get yet another group of three. And so now let's copy and paste and we get yet another group of three. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that everything was lined up perfectly. But since I've got these in groups of threes, it makes it a lot easier. So if I click on this first one here, you're going to see that my Y coordinate is 0.67. So now all I need to do is I need to go back here and check to make sure 0.67 is my Y coordinate on all of these. And actually this one is 0.68, so I'm just going to change it to 0.67. So now I know that they're all lined up perfectly from the top. Now let's talk about spacing them apart. Right now I've got my X coordinate at 1.28 and I'm actually going to bring up my calculator here and you'll see why in a minute. But I'm going to remember that 1.28. And now if I click on my second one here, I've got 3.72. So I'm going to take 3.72 minus 1.28 and that gives me 2.44 for my measurement. So that means that for this next one, what I want to do is I want to add 2.44 to whatever, um, to the 3.72 that this one is at. And then that will give me my measurement for what I want this one at. So I got 2.44 plus 3.72 and that gives me 6.16. So when I click on here, you see I'm close, I'm at 6.09. I want to change this to 6.16. And now I've got everything perfectly lined up and spaced apart from one another. And I can actually at this point too is I can do a select around all of these and then join all of these together as well. And that is how I created the masked background that I used as a stencil. So what I did was I just cut this out and then I laid this stencil over my finished paper and I inked in so that the ink only got inside of these little hearts here. So that explains to you how I went about doing that and it really is quite simple once you get the hang of it. It's just a matter of figuring out these measurements um, and understanding that path union is more for just welding. It's for joining things together. So that's it for today. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.